Hello children, welcome to Happy Gainers. Today we are going to learn an important act from the drama Macbeth. Double, double, toil and trouble. Annotations for the witcher's chance. This happens in a dark cave. In the middle there is a boiling cauldron. Thunder appears and then enter the three witches. Okay, let's listen to the act. Thrice the branded cat hath me. Thrice and once the hedge pig whined. Hark here cries, tis time. Round about the cauldron go, and the poisoned entrails throw, toads that under cold stone, days and nights, as thirty-one sweltered venom sleeping got, boiled out first in the charmed pot. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Fill it of a fanny snake, in the cauldron boil and bake. I of newt and tow a frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind worm sting, lizard's leg and howlet's wing. For a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble, double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble, scale of dragon, tooth of wolf, which is mummy moan goof, of the raven salt sea shark, root of hem. Lock dead in the dark, liver of blaspheming Jew, gold of goat, and slips of you, silvered in the moon's eclipse, nose of Turk and tortures lips, finger of a birth strangled babe, ditch delivered by a trap, make the gruel thick and slap. Add thereto a tiger's cauldron for the ingredients of our cauldron. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Cool it to a baboon's blood, then the charm is firm and good. Oh, well done, I command your pains, and every one shall share in their gains. And now about the cauldron sing, live elves and fairies in a ring, enchanting all the things you put in. By the Pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Open locks, whoever knocks. Okay, this is an act from Macbeth. And Macbeth as a king, but the witches continued to cast their spell to create more trouble in his life. In Act 4, Scene 1 of Shakespeare's Macbeth, the audience can see a cavern. The middle of the stage shows a boiling cauldron. A cauldron is a big pot that is used for boiling something. Thereafter, with the sound of the thunder, the three witches enter the stage. The sound effect along with the setting of the stage depicts that something eerie is going to happen. Even what the witches say on stage is clouded with terror and sensationalism. After gathering on the stage, they start singing the song and add some ingredients into the boiling pot. It is important to mention here that the boiling cauldron is a metaphor for Macbeth's mind. 
at that critical junction of the play, his mind is flooded with dark and troublesome thoughts. Moreover, when the witchers say fire burn, they mean the fire of Macbeth's dark desires. The more it burns inside his heart, the more his mind bubbles like hot broth. The first witch is seen stirring the mixture. She says that first they have to add a toad. The toad has to be poisonous one and should be sleeping 31 days and nights under the cold stone. It should be oozing poison from its pores. After the description of the toad, they add it in the cauldron and start to sing together. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. After 31 days of sweating poison under the cold stone, the toad is ready to be put into the pot. In the second section of double, double, toil and trouble, the second witch add some disturbing elements to the potion. These are fillet of a swamp snake, nyotsai, frog's toe, bat's wool, dog's tongue, adder's fork tongue, blind worm's sting, lizard's leg and owlet's wing. Such ingredients, according to the second witch, enhances the charm of the powerful solution. Here, she compares it with the hell broth. It is another metaphor for Macbeth's mind. Here, Shakespeare says that hell doesn't exist outside. It exists inside a person's mind. In Macbeth's case, his sinful activities turn his mind into a hell broth. Thereafter, they again sing together and emphasize how the psychological turmoil of Macbeth is doubling gradually. As long as the fire is burning, it will never come to an end. In the third section of the witch's song, the third witch takes the lead. She sings and adds the following ingredients to the pot. These are a dragon's scale, wolf's tooth, witch's mummy and the gullet and stomach of a shark. Moreover, they have to add root of hemlock that was dug up in the dark. Along with that, they must add a Jew's liver, a goat's bile, a few twigs of yew broken off during a lunar eclipse, a Turk's nose and Tartar's lips. The last ele element disturbingly enhances the sensationalism of the scene. It is the finger of a baby that was strangled as a prostitute gave birth to it in a ditch. After adding these elements, she says they have to thicken the gruel until it becomes gluey. For quickening the process, she adds a tiger's squadron or it is entrails to the mixture. Thereafter, they stir the potion and sing Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn and cauldron bubble. However, at the end of the song, the second witch talks about cooling the mixture with a baboon's blood as it enhances the charm of the potion. Okay, now in this poem, there are lots of animals mentioned. So we will look at them. Adder's fork, the fork, the tongue, part like a fork of this one. The worm, bat, then newt, 
dog, snake, frog, lizard. And then jew, goat, baboon, baby, tiger, dragon, wolf, shark, hemlock and yew are two plant types. And then the moon eclipse also is an important thing in this chanting. Then there are body parts added to this cauldron. They are lips, eye, tongue, tooth, nose, wing, fingers, wool, leg, gall, liver and tooth. So there are different difficult words also with different meanings like harpier. Harpy is the monster from Greek myth which was part of bird of prey part woman and then wind make a high pitch screeching noise here and then fillet a piece of slice of boneless meat fillet sweltered is very hot charmed you unusually lucky or happy as though protected by magic charm then venom is a poisonous substance Cauldron, a very large pot that is used for boiling. Mummy, a body unusually well preserved. Broth, liquid food preparation. Then gulf, a deep inlet of the sea almost surrounded by land with a narrow mouth. Then thou, it's you. Birth strangled, killed right after birth and before baptism. More the jaws of throat of a voracious animal. Entrails a person or animal's intestines at in or internal organs. Okay, we had an important discussion about the chanting of witches. So we will meet again with another wonderful lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Okay, bye for now.